Welcome to the MTI Player Tutorials. In this tutorial, we will go over how to navigate the Organization Dashboard. The Organization Dashboard can be accessed at player.mtishows.com slash production. Log in with the organization's credentials. These credentials were emailed to the admin when the organization was first created. Once logged in, the dashboard will display the Shows page. This will show the current shows your organization has access to. Click on a current show's title to open more information regarding that show's tracks. If you have lost your rehearsal code or do not know what it is, it can be found in the top right-hand corner of the screen. This is the Documents page. Here, you can download a cue sheet, which notates major cues throughout the show, and an edit sheet that can be filled out to submit changes to the track. To download a document, click this image. The next tab is the Production Access tab. This page will display any devices that have been authorized for production tracks. The last tab is the Track Management tab. Here you'll see two lists of tracks, the playlist and the other set lists. The playlist will show all active tracks. By default, all of the master tracks will be listed here. These tracks can be previewed by clicking the play button under the title. If your show offers alternate tracks, they can be found in the other set lists area. Alternate tracks can include choral or backup tracks, tracks without sound effects, or official alternate keys provided by the licensor. Please note that not all shows will have alternate tracks available. If your show does have alternates, you can sort through them by using this drop-down box menu. If you order edits through our editing service, they will appear in the playlist with the tag My Custom Tracks. Tracks can easily be moved from one list to the other to help customize your production. If there is an unneeded track in the playlist, it can be moved to Other Set Lists by clicking this arrow. This will make the track inactive and it will not be available for download on any device with rehearsal or production access. To make a track active, it will need to be moved into the playlist area. Click this button to show movement options. This button will replace the dark blue highlighted track on the left with the light blue highlighted track on the right. This button will add the track highlighted light blue on the right to the active playlist without moving the master track. This can be helpful if you'd like to rehearse with both the master and alternate tracks to determine which works best for your production. The next area of the dashboard is the Contacts page. This page will display all contacts connected with your organization. This symbol designates the account admin. The admin is the only contact who can reset and change the password for the organization. Please note that there can only be one account admin. If there is anyone else in your organization that you would like to add to this list, click the Contact Plus button at the top of the page. Fill out the desired information and click Create. To edit a contact's information, click the Edit arrow. This will open the contact's information for editing. Here you have the option, if desired, to either delete a contact or make them inactive. By making them inactive, it will save their information to use for later, but they will not be active on the account. Please note that there can only be three active contacts on an account at a time. Contacts can also be deleted by clicking this button. If you delete a contact, their information will be deleted from the system permanently. The next area of the dashboard is the account page. Here, the organization's information can be updated and the organization's password can be reset if desired. To save any changes, click the Submit button. The last area on the dashboard is the FAQ option. Clicking FAQ will take you to the FAQ page. Here you can find answers to commonly asked questions. This concludes the Organization Dashboard tutorial. 
If you have any further questions, feel free to visit our FAQ page at player.mtishows.com slash FAQ or reference our tutorial series. Thank you for watching and have a great show.